In previous video, we have created a simple REST endpoint which returns a string that is hello world string to the client. Okay. In this video, we are going to create one more REST API which returns a Java bean as a response to the client. Alright. So in order to create a REST API which returns a Java bean as a response, we first need to create a Java bean class. So let's go ahead and let's right click on the package new and then create a class and let's give class name as student and let's define few instance variable in this class let's say private string first name let's define one more field private string last name okay now we have defined two fields for student class this is not a java bin at we are going to create a getter setters methods right click source and click on generate getter setters select all and generate now this is our java bin class so whenever you create a class and if you want to make this class as a java bin then make sure that you will create a getter setter methods for these instance variables otherwise uh, you will get an error okay we will create a constructor for this class right click source and generate constructor and keep selected these two fields and hit generate okay we have created a parameterized constructor for student class okay now what we'll do we'll create a rest api which returns student java bin you know object to the client in order to create that rest api we will create a separate controller for that so right click on package new and then choose class and let's give controller class name as student and then controller so this is the naming convention that we use student is a resource name controller is suffix for this this resource okay great so this is typical naming convention we use to create a resource in spring mvc based projects well this is the class now and in order to make this class as a Spring MVC controller or a Spring MVC REST controller, we need to add this class with add REST controller annotation. Now this class becomes a REST controller which can able to handle a web request or a REST API request. Okay, so once our controller is ready, now, now within a controller we create a method public and in this REST API we need to return a student bean as a response right let's give response uh, return type of this method as a student class and let's give method name as student get student and this method should return object of student right student class and look at here this is the constructor we are calling with first name and last name let's give first name as Ramesh last name is Fodotari okay great so this is a simple method which returns a student object now let's make this method as a rest api so in order to make this method as a rest api we are going to use add get mapping annotation okay so we can access this rest api I mean the client can access this REST API with URL HTTP localhost 8080 so by using this URL client can able to access this REST API but we can provide a URI for this REST API for example let's say student now client should use this URI to access this REST API localhost 8080 slash student so this is the URI client should use to call this REST API let's copy this URL okay now we are going to test this REST API so let's go ahead and run our Spring Boot application so go to main entry point class right click run as Spring Boot app alright our Spring Boot application is up and running on embedded Tomcat server on port 8080 let's go to browser and just 
paste the URL localhost 8080 slash student and hit enter and there we go. A client got a success response for this REST API and the response is a JSON. Okay, so this is the JSON for student class. Well, if you are wondering how this, you know, REST API returns a JSON. Okay, so that is the beauty of Spring MUC. So Spring MUC internally uses Jackson library and uh, message converters to convert Java object into a JSON. Well, if you can see here inside a REST controller, REST controller annotation internally uses at response body annotation. And at response body annotation basically internally uses uh, converters that is HTTP converters or some different converters to convert Java object into JSON. Okay, and then return to the client. All right, let me summarize what we have done in this video. We have created a student controller which is annotated with at rest controller annotation and then we have created a student java bin class we have defined first name last name as instance variable that is private instance variables and we have created get set and methods to access these private instance variables and we have also created one parameterized constructor for student class okay and then we have created a simple rest api get student rest api which returns a java bin uh, student class object and we have made this method as a rest api by annotating with add get mapping annotation and spring mc internally uses http message converters to convert java object into json and uh, return back to the client okay so you need to understand like the spring mc internally uses http message converters to convert a response from that is from Java object to JSON. So these are the few important points you need, you need to note it down. Okay, so you may wondering like this method returns a Java object, right? That is a student object and how the client gets a JSON. So we don't have to write a code to you know convert Java object into JSON manually. Spring MVC will take care of converting you know the response and uh, the converter name is mapping jackson to http message converter well spring image internally uses jackson to library to convert a java object to json json to java object okay spring mc by default uses jackson to library to convert java object to json json object to java okay just remember and one more important point is by default spring MUC uses json as a representational format you can configure the representational for representational format for your rest apis as a xml as well for example path equals to slash student and then here you can see couple of attributes for this annotation so you can use consumes and produces uh, attributes to you know give a representation of format or mi mi type media type as a xml but by default spring mc uses jackson as a media type or a representation of format just remember these important points okay so you can give a url for this rest api like this or you can also remove path here okay great so this is how we create a rest api which returns a Java bin or Java bin class object to the client.